Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode two of our Hoff Bergman Explained series. Today, we're going to talk about calves. How do we get them? And what do we do with them? So we start here at the beginning with a little story about the birds and the bees. But before that, this video is brought to you by Gal Comp Gamer. Thank you for being a farm parent. Now, what do I mean about the birds and the bees? Well, in standard farm sim, cows just make more cows. They just, they just happen. In seasons, there is the concept of artificial insemination, and that just happens in the background. You never see it. Well, here on Hoff Bergman, we are all about reality, and, well, you get to see as much as you want let's just say. So here we are. We've got Mr. Breeding Cow here, you know, Mr. Breeding Bull, and we've got him in this little single cow LSFM Innovations animal trailer. And we're down here at the bull facility. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the map. We're down here at the bull facility. Right here we have building number three, building number two, and building number one over there. Now behind building number three, we have this quaint little building. Nothing is marked here, but man, this is where the deed is started. We need to bring our breeding bull here and unload him into this building. And at this point, he spends the next day or so um, producing bull juice, little swimmers, if you will. And they are going to be stored in this cryo tank here. You'll see I already have 10 liters of what I call bull juice uh, stored in here. And what we can do is we can put five liters of bull juice in these little cryo tanks, and then we can basically move them around. See, we can pick these up. We also have conveniently a little refrigerator here where we can store all kinds of tanks of bull juice. 64 tanks can be stored in this little refrigerator. So how does this all happen? And why does this happen? Well, we need to inseminate our cows and convert them to calving cows. So I had in the first video a little bit of a mix up with respect to calving cows. And I'm gonna clarify that here in a little bit. But what we do is we need to back this up, back up the truck, and we get the unloading animals. We're gonna say yes, do we want to unload one animals from the vehicle? Yes, we do. And, well, if you've already peeped through the window, you can see he is already doing his, uh, his job. Let's just say that. So there he is, doing his job, okay? And in about 24 hours or so, we will get ourselves five more liters of bull juice. So we're gonna hit R for start filling here. And there we go, a little bit of a sound. Now we only have five liters of bull juice in there and we have five liters in this tank. So we can go and basically put it here in the fridge. We open up the door. We can put this in here and store it away or we can make use of it. So we're gonna go ahead and take out both tanks of bull juice. There we go. We're gonna put those in the back of our pickup truck. Like so. We'll just shut the door and leave him to his business. Now, when he is all done, okay, we've got a helper that comes and magically moves him over to this pin right beside the building. So you know when the bull is done his duties, when he is standing over here. And at that point, you can take the animal trailer 
and load him back up. And, well, if you're nice, you can put him back in building number two. Or if you're a slave driver, you can stick him right back in the input building and have him go back to work. So, quick refresher. Building number two is where breeding bulls are stored. Okay, it's also where we can convert calves to breeding bulls. We have six pins here, and we're gonna talk about this in a little bit. Buildings number one and three are where we can house young bulls, and young bulls will reproduce, they'll, they'll duplicate, They'll increase their numbers kind of magically, but very, very slowly. And basically one and three is where we can store those. And then I discovered, since I fast forwarded time a bit, this is where all the manure spawns for all three bull pins. Okay? So let me take this up to the farm and we're going to talk about what we do with the bull juice so let's talk a little bit about what i kind of got wrong in the first video related to cow calving cows okay so here we have we've got regular cows cow black and white then we have black and white calving cows. And I was under the impression that only calving cows could be impregnated and then have calves. But I was incorrect. I was reading the update notes wrong or the update notes were just translated incorrectly or unclearly when I moved it from English to German. But that is incorrect. So calving cows are in essence already impregnated at the animal dealer. So three or four game days have passed. Let's take a look here. So on Monday is when we bought all our livestock. You can see $188,000 spent. Then we went to Tuesday. So it's one full day, two full days. Today is three full days. So it's been three full days since we bought our calving cows. Well, we have a calf here. I have not impregnated anybody at this point. So calving cows appear to come from the animal dealer already impregnated. So I had gotten that part wrong. Now let's jump down to the shop or to the, um, to the house because I want to see what the differences are in price between calving cows, which seems to already be impregnated. They'll already start producing calves after a certain period of time and regular cows, cow black and white, which are not impregnated, that we would be able to impregnate manually, and then they become calving cows. So down here at the house, at our laptop, we can pull up the animal trigger, and let's go ahead and hit that one. So regular calving cows are four, thousand dollars at the animal dealer regular cows are thirty five hundred dollars at the animal dealer so it's five hundred dollar premium to get the pre-impregnated cows so that's going to come into play because of the fact that well a, a bull okay remember a a big old mature bull a breeding bull it's going to cost us ten thousand dollars so that is a pretty penny to invest in, uh, in getting the ability to get your bull juice in order to um, impregnate your cows now we can also buy bull juice from the store okay now i'm saying bull juice because i don't want youtube to um, pick up on a s word that also rhymes with emen, okay? And then do some interesting, questionable things with respect to monetization. So we're calling it bull juice. 
So I very well know what the proper name is. I'm just choosing not to use it. So under animal supplies, we can buy an empty cooling tank for $50. And that's what we had already done down at the breeding facility. Or we could buy it filled for $1,050. And that provides us with five liters of product that basically will allow us to impregnate five cows. So that is basically $200 per cow to manually do it versus $500 per cow premium to have them already impregnated. Okay, so let's see how we do this process. So I've got here two regular cows. And what we have to do is we have to back them up into this blue chute. Before we can unload, we need to make sure that the chute is set in the open position. So right now it is closed. Now it is open, okay? So in the open position, we can now unload our cow one at a time. And let's go back here because I want to show you. Oh, sorry. I'm on a freeze frame. I'm going to grab a still and put up right now that you can see that this is cow black and white. It is not a calving cow. Okay. Now that we've verified that, what we need to do is we need to come over here and close the gate. So now the cow is basically trapped in there. It can't drive out, can't back out because it's closed. What we need to do is we need to get one of our cryo tanks at this point. Bring it over to the, um, to the appropriate area. And we're gonna put it right in front of the probe, okay? We know we're in the right spot because we'll see a little ampule of white stuff show up. And well, the vet will miraculously just appear. So there's our little white ampule and there's a vet doing well, what the vet does best. And that is making some bull babies. And this will go on for an hour, okay? You'll know you're done when the vet disappears and then there's an X that's gonna appear on the left hind quarter of the cow. So let's just go ahead and speed this up just a wee little bit. There we go. So it's now 9.30 and well, the cow just seems to be completely in shock. He is now completely frozen in time. But anyway, we see our X and we can open the gate. And now that we've opened the gate, we can get in our trailer. And we can use this trailer. We can use the single animal trailer. And we're gonna back it up to the this side of the chute. And we're gonna load now cow, black, white calving. Okay, and we're gonna do this process one more time. Uh, but before we do that, let me um, let me unload Mr. Calving Cow here into the pen. So we have Calving Cow. We're gonna unload him into the pen. Okay, so now we have 11 calving cows. Download one more. There we go. Let's 
go ahead and close the gate. And once we close the gate, since we already have our juice here. Okay, now we need to move our juice away and back in. And there goes Mr. Vet once again doing his duty. 9.32. Let's speed up the clock. Ten fifteen. The vet is done. Open up the gate. We see we've got our red X now on the hindquarters. And we'll load up our calving cow once again. And we'll put him in the shed. So now we have 12 calving cows in this picker shed. We have a little bit of things we need to prep and buy before we are really ready to um, do anything with our calves. But before I want to do that, I want to take this other container of full juice. And we're going to take it up to Gen, Gen X, okay? Gen X is where we can actually sell our bull juice, okay? Because at some point, we're not going to need to impregnate any more cows. Now, we can, if we want, sell our recently impregnated cows down at the animal dealer and we'll get 50% of the purchase price. So they are $3,000 to buy. So we'll get $1,500 for every impregnated cow that we take down there. But once we have, you know, if you have a bull, then you could just cycle him through and uh, you know, collect up as many of these containers of, uh, of bull juice as you want and then bring them over here to genetics to uh, to sell so then seasons players will get their artificial insemination done because they will buy their stuff from genetics or gen x Not quite there. $568 and now this is empty we can bring it back and well reuse it so I'm now going to head down to the vehicle shop because there's some things we need to buy in order to care for our calves I'll meet you down there So down here at the shop, we're going to need to pick up some supplies. First off, under objects and then animal supplies, we're going to need to pick up milk powder for calves. Okay, so this one bag is good for one load of milk, which is going to produce 150 liters of calf milk. So we're just going to go ahead and buy just a couple of these. You'll need more of these. The more calves that you uh, 
that you keep. But we're just going to get a couple for demonstration purposes. And we will also need a metal bucket. We're going to get that down here under objects and miscellaneous. Now we already have a metal bucket up at the cow farm, but uh, if you don't need one, if you don't have one, or you're going to need a metal bucket over at the bull breeding area. So we're just going to go ahead and get a metal bucket. And the metal bucket is going to hold 100 liters of water. So we use one metal bucket of water and one bag of calf milk to make our liquid calving milk. And then we're going to need to get something to mix our water and having milk together. And that is going to be here under production equipment. And it is the milk shuttle. So $3,500. This is going to take water, calving milk powder, and it's going to make calving milk. And this is electric. It's going to run on battery power. Let's go ahead and get that. Now we have the ability to change the rim color, should we so wish. And just to make things easier to get around, I am going to buy the Brockman trailer from the Alpine Farming Expansion. Because that's going to make it easier to transport the milk shuttle back to the farm. So we're going to come up to the milk shuttle. We're going to hit E to enter it. And now we are going to turn it on. You see it has two fill types. We have battery and then another one that's empty. Make sure you turn it off so you don't waste the battery power. It does work with straps. Let's head on back to the farm and uh, we'll mix up some cow milk. So here we are back to farm. Let's go ahead and unload our truck. So we're going to leave our bucket there. We're going to bring in our milk bag. Now, Here's an interesting little tidbit. So you see that little rack. That rack is a storage area for our milk bags. We can store 24 sacks in this particular milk bag. And that's how we basically put it in. We just use our hand, can put it in there. We'll come up here to the corner. We hit R to go into the management menu. And then we can eject one bag at a time. And there we go. We're going to leave the other bag right there. We're not going to need that yet. Now let's take our milk taxi and let me show you what we do with it as far as, well, our battery's running down. Okay, let's pretend our battery's running low. We need to recharge it. Well, here we have the recharging port, we've got the extension cord to plug it in. So what we want to do is we want to drive this up to, up to about here, and we're going to see a connect come up. There we go, attach. So we're going to hit Q, and now our cable is connected, and we're going to hit I to start overloading, i.e. charging our battery. Okay, there's a little bit of a hum now. You can see our battery terminal is blinking the plug. So we are basically charging, at this point, our battery. So 993, 994, okay? 
while we're going to let that charge for a little bit, let's talk about what we do with our calves. So our calves are always going to spawn right there. What we do is we come up to our calf and we E to lead our cow. So now we lead our calf around to the calving area. Just like that. Isn't that cool? So this particular area is set up in two sets of six. So we've got pins one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have a little bit of gap. And then we have pins seven through 12. Through my testing earlier, I discovered that pins one through six are going to produce cows, just regular dairy cows. Pins 7 through 12 are going to produce young bulls. Okay, and then our breeding bulls are going to be produced over at the bull facility. So we want to lead our cow into the pen, and once we get into the pen, basically we get ejected from the cow, and there we go. We want to cut the, close that gate. And you can see each cow has its own name. Then we have milk. Each cow in this building is going to require 30 liters of milk and then 1,000 liters of straw. So conveniently, we actually have four bales of straw right here that we can make use of. I'm going to go ahead and turn on super strength just to make it easier. Uh, these areas do take bales, or I'm sure you could blow straw into them. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Now let's go ahead and fast forward time a little bit, and we'll get another cow spawn. There, another cow spawned in. And I was able to basically spawn in, when I was doing some testing, like 20 calves. So this is something else that is behaving a little bit different than I was expecting it to behave. Given the fact that we are manually inseminating cows, I kind of expected that as calves come out, that calving cows would convert back to regular cows. That doesn't seem to be the case. So we now have two calves, okay? And if we look in our pen here, you can see that we still have 12 calving cows. And we're going to always have 12 calving cows until we impregnate or buy more calving cows. And these guys are just going to keep pumping out cows or calves every hour or so for as best I can tell forever. Now, if you do not take this calf away, okay, if you leave a calf here, then another calf won't necessarily spawn that quickly, but another calf will eventually spawn. Now, we're not going to fill up all 12 of those bays. I'm just going to put one in the cow pen and one in the young bull hen area and then we're going to take a cow and put it over at the breeding bull area the best way i've found to transport these is to just walk them up onto the animal trailer and then we hit e to uh, eject from the cow and we're going to grab one more because we can also sell these calves at the animal dealer. Uh, last time I sold these calves when I was doing some testing, I got a little over $600 per calf. Now there's one more place you could take these calves, but I would not suggest doing it because it's gonna cost you money and that is to take them to the Skinner 
If you take a, a calf to the Skinner, it's going to cost you over $1,000. So, obviously, that is not a desirable place to dispose of calves. It's best to take them down to the animal dealer if you're not going to do anything with them. Like I said, every hour or so, we're going to get more calves spawned there. So let's it's time to go ahead and make our milk. So we're going to disconnect from our charging port. We're going to turn our unit on. We're going to hit in to open the front cover. We're going to take our bucket, and this is the water spout. So we're going to move our bucket under the spout. Now it is full of water, 100 liters of water. And this is where it can get a little, a little tricky. Sometimes you gotta be a little particular with getting the water in there. Sometimes I have more luck on this side. Keep an eye on the left and you'll see the, basically the mixing ratio will change so it'd be full of water. Something else to check is just to make sure that this is set to tip side front U from tip side pipe to tip side front. I have best luck with getting this to load when it's tip side front. There we go. We finally got it. It's a little catchy. And then we'll take our bag. And this works best if you have the label up and just put it over the hole. And again, it's best if you have the F1 menu up because you don't see anything. There we go. Now, if we hit E to enter our mixer, you'll see that we have the mix in here. We hit B to turn on the mixer. And now we have a one minute timer counting down. It's going to take a minute to mix this into calf milk. And once it's mixed, you'll see that the color will change from blue to white. Just a few more seconds. And there we go. Now we have calf breeding milk. We can go ahead and close our lid if we want. We want to hit U to change to the side pipe. And now we just walk up alongside these buckets. And we get an overload. And then we'll fill this with 30 liters of milk. And once we do that, you're going to see that the cow becomes animated. So at this point, the cow is kind of stationary. It's frozen. And once we've satisfied milk and straw, it becomes animated. And turn that off. If you look at our screen here, we can now see that we have 30 liters of milk, 1,000 liters of straw. And that is all we need to do. So at this point, now it is a waiting game of a few days for these guys to convert from calves to their next state. Now, we're supposed to, and I haven't tried this, Supposedly, we can take this milk can and empty. Yeah, look at that. And now we can empty our excess milk into our milk can, should we so wish. And now we have some milk here in our milk can. You take this and then put it into other buckets like so yeah it might be empty but we can basically mix up if you want 
you don't want to have to deal with this thing, right? We can mess with it for a couple of times. We can mix up a couple loads and then we can basically put them in milk cans, which we can also buy over here under objects, miscellaneous milk cans holds 120 liters. So we're going to load this back up. Because we're going to take this calf over to the bull facility. And I want to show you that area. It is very similar to this calving facility, except that calves are going to require 60 liters of calving milk over there and 2,000 liters of straw. So I'll meet you when we get back over to the calving facility. All right, down here at the calving facility, like I said, we're going to go ahead and grab one of these cows. The best way to get them when we're here in the trailer is to just walk up alongside one. Hit E to enter it and then back it down. And we're just going to put one of these here because we're going to take the other one down to the animal dealer just to demonstrate that we can also sell our calves. Now, I had thought that the butcher would also take our calves and our young bulls, but that is not the case. So I took some calves down to the butcher and it says uh, calves are not accepted here. I took some young bulls down to the butcher and the same message it said um, young bulls are not accepted here. Go ahead and put our milk in first. We'll get our bucket. Just like over at the other cow building, we have a faucet right on the inside of the door here. And we have our charging station right there. So if you were operating both of these facilities, you would probably have two of these milk taxis as opposed to driving one between the two facilities. And therefore you'd be able to basically charge up either one. Let me check. Did I change this to tip side front? Nope, tip side front. Like I said, I had better luck with that. There we go. We're just going to leave that bucket over here. We're going to start our mixing. And we're going to set the tip side pipe like so. And while that's mixing, let's go and get a bale of straw. So over here, we start out with a lot of bales pre-supplied in new farmer mode. And there are two bale stacks of straw right here. So again, you would use a straw blower, maybe you have fork, maybe a skid steer. But for demonstration purposes, we're just going to Put straw in there, 
and this takes 2,000 liters, so we only get two pins per bale of straw. And 60 liters of milk. So we can only fill two and a half of these pins with milk before we have to resupply the, uh, the mixer. And you can see we also have our storage rack over here, once again, for the, uh, for the milk bags. So we can have a supply of milk bags in both locations, should we so wish. So there we have our calf, 60 liters of milk and 2,000 liters of straw. I'm gonna go ahead and meet you down at the animal dealer at this point. Demonstrate how we can sell calves to uh, get a little bit of money. Because if the if the calving cows are just gonna continually view out calves every hour or so, then uh, then yeah, I mean, why not just collect the load every day and take them down to the animal dealer? and get some nice, steady, residual income. So when we get down to the end of the dealer, what we're gonna have to do is unload our cow just like we have before. Uh, it does not recognize the cow as being in, or the calf as being in the trailer. So we can't just pull up to it. Once again, we're going to walk up beside the cow, hit E, and then back him up. And walk him into the building, and once we get into the trigger, our camera's going to flash, and there we go. $947 that time. So calves are on a fluctuating economy. Like I said, when I was doing some testing, I got $647. Now I got $947. So that was a nice little surprise. So at this point, we are gonna fast forward a few more days until our calves have matured. And then I'm gonna show you that basically we have regular cows, because we'll have a cow black and white We'll have a young bull, a black and white young bull, and then we will have a black and white breeding bull from each of those distinct areas. So, catch you in a few days. So, interestingly enough, it's only been one game day, and we basically our calves are now ready to rock and roll. Now, I do know that the description of the update notes did mention that there was some variability built into the calving script so the time frame that it's going to take to convert your calves to full-grown cows young bulls or breeding bulls is going to be somewhat dependent upon that script now since we're already down here I thought i'd just show you what we're going to do is we're going to back this up to our area here we're going to load our breeding bull and then if we wanted to we could just cycle him back into the building like so and then off he goes we can also then take our empty uh, the joys of super strength we can take our empty container Back up here, we should have 10 again. We do. We can 
billet and put it back in our refrigerator for storage. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, just do what you need to do. Now let's go back over here and we're gonna see that we now have a new breeding bull in our calf pen. straw is gone the milk is gone and we just load him up just like so and then if we take him around to this side remember we had four breeding bulls black and white we can unload him and now we have five or we could just take him down to the animal dealer and sell him for $5,000. Because again, the price that we basically get is half the purchase price and it costs $10,000 to produce breeding bulls. So if you take six calves down here to the breeding bull facility, you give them 60 liters of milk, of calving milk, 2,000 liters of straw, in a period of a few days, one to three to five days, uh, you could have yourself six breeding bulls that you could then take down to the animal dealer and sell for possibly $30,000 every couple of days. So pretty decent income with respect to breeding bulls. I'm just going to head right back here to the farm and we're going to pick up our young bull with this trailer we could take the young bull and again take him down to the animal dealer and sell him for half the purchase price of a young bull or we could take him and put him in one of the young bull pens and again the more young bulls we have the faster they will just replicate on their own So you'll see we have the young bull. Load him up. And he physically looks different than the regular cow. And the young bull is a little bit smaller than the breeding bull. We wanted we could take our cow here and we could put him back in the uh, her put her in the insemination area to get the deed done or we could take her to one of these two open cow pastures and put her there for uh, again those cows will replicate just as they would normally do over time the more cows you have the more the faster they're going to replicate or we can take this cow down to the animal dealer and sell her for pretty good profit given the fact that uh, it didn't really cost us anything to produce So guys, I hope that kind of clears up halves on Hofbergman. Lots of options, lots of stuff's going on here. Um, and it didn't quite work out the way that I thought it would work out because as our calving cows produce calves, I thought we would lose that number and they would basically convert back to regular cows and we basically have to artificially inseminate them each cycle, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So until next time, happy farming.